Okay, so let's play a game. I'm going to say something, you tell me, will it work or will it not work? Is it good? a good power phrase? We're learning how to use power phrase or is it not? Okay, what about, you shouldn't be angry. Does that diffuse it or accelerate it? I'm sorry, it's not my intention to offend you. Could it diffuse it? Possibly. You totally misunderstood me. Good or bad? Mm, not a paraphrase. I'm sorry, I wasn't clear. So you could choose power phrases that help um, not, not resist anger, but or accelerate anger. It can actually diffuse it. And your words matter. Your words matter. Um, you know, the, and, and your, your understanding matters too. The people who are the least lovable sometimes are the ones who need the most love. When someone is angry, they aren't even open to hearing about a solution. They just need to, to get their anger out. Um, we've learned about listening. Um, now, let's. the first thing you want to do, the, a very good thing to do is to um, acknowledge them, to give them value and let them know that you value them. Um, I want to resolve this because I like working with you and I don't want anything to upset that. I'm sorry this misunderstanding happened. I care about our relationship. I value your account and I'm taking these concerns to heart. You're important to me. I want to work this out. Okay, so what if they're, they continue to be angry and you're not going to give in to that anger? You can be firm. I understand your anger, but it will, those angry words will not change my policy. If I could give you what you were asking for, I'd do it without your anger. As it is, your anger cannot enable me to give you what you're asking for. Nope, I didn't say that right. Okay, let's say, if I could give you what you're asking for, I'd do it without your anger. I'm not able to, and your anger can't change that. Okay, you can be firm. Um, you don't have to say everything you mean. You can be concise, you can be tight about your words. Okay, what if, if they are really bearing down on you and you're frightened? You can tell them, I am frightened by your anger. If, if you're not, you can tell them I'm not frightened by your anger. You can tell them that, yeah. Um, you can say, I want to focus on the issues, but you know what, the intensity of your words, they're distracting us from the point. Don't tell people, I'll get you a refund if you don't know that you can. Don't say it'll never happen to you again if it probably will. Let your actions match your words. And, um, you know, have integrity. The phrases that are targeted, say what you mean. And um, stay calm yourself. All right. We'll talk more soon. <laughs> have a great day.